Hey y'all, hey, it's Chelsea Monet and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Today is gonna be just a random thrifting vlog. Um, I randomly went thrifting in Houston and I'm, unfortunately I only went to two thrift stores. I wasn't able to hit up Value Village, but next time I'm out there, I definitely will. Um, so this video is gonna be real quick, so let's just get right into it. So let's get right into this video y'all. The first stop we made was out of the closet thrift store. This was our first stop in Houston and I had never been to this thrift store before. I literally just googled thrift stores near me and this is one of the few that popped up. So I was like why not check it out. So let's just hop right in. Of course the first thing I put my hands on are these shoes. They are so unique and so different. You definitely have to have the right type of style to rock these. They were only $15 but they were definitely a good deal. Then I saw this blazer. I really like the texture of the blazer as well as the sequin black blazer. I'm not really a sequins girl, but I did like how the trimming was like satin. Then I saw this fire as red trench coat. Oh my gosh, she was so beautiful. She was $30, $20. And then they had this fire red cardigan as well. If you guys don't know, red is the color of the season. Red has always been one of my favorite colors, though, to wear. Then I saw this chevron blazer. Chevron used to be cute back in the day. And oh my gosh, y'all, I fell in love with this plaid blazer. I was so upset that this bla blazer was $30. She was way too expensive to be in a thrift store. She was definitely giving consignment shop vibes. Like, after a while, I was like... I don't know if this is a thrift store or a consignment shop. Then I saw this cute Hawaiian bun down. I felt like she would be real cute as a cute little style hack or whatever. They didn't really have anything when it came to the purses or the belts. Like, she was not given. But for the most part, out of the closet, she was all right. She was a cute little number or whatever. But I just felt like those prices was definitely not given thrift store prices. She was definitely giving consignment shop. Then I ran across this pink uh, plus size dress. And she had some shoulder pads in her. She was too cute, okay? Too cute, but too big for me. Then I went to their other shoe department. I honestly didn't find much that I liked. These little cheetah heels was all right, but the gold was not given. Then I had really liked these shoes. They were a really good pop of color to add to any outfit. But I do not like, um, was, what are the chunky heels called? I, I don't know. I feel like it would be given beginner, you know. And so I had to leave it. Then we went to Goodwill on Montrose, which was a Goodwill like in the Galleria area. And y'all, this Goodwill had so much high-end products. They had a couple of Louis Vuitton bags or Louis Vuitton bags, whatever you want to call her, because she definitely was not made in Italy, honey. And she was $70. Absolutely not. We not doing the Louis Vuitton for no $70. So we had to leave her there. Now, although this item was not real, they did have a case full of card holders and small wallets that were real as well as a few bags that were real as well i saw a few michael kors i saw some kate spade i saw some louis vuitton i saw some coach even like this bag here she was definitely a vintage kate spade with the leather and the gray this thrift trip was very random so i had my husband and my son with me and y'all know how it is thrifting with other people. It's like you can't take your time. But my husband has been wondering, like, why have I been so obsessed with thrifting lately? So I've been trying to teach him a little bit about it. When it comes to thrifting and fashion in general, men don't usually have as many options as women. But you definitely still can elevate your wardrobe on a budget and still look luxury. What is she giving? She's giving... Who is the, the Michael Jackson with the Wiz? What's her name? The black lady. Mm. <laughs> oh my god so then i went over to the women's jacket area and i found this beautiful green blazer with this black detailing she was cute as well as this beautiful beautiful blue blazer she is perfect to add the right amount of pop of color but she was 20 dollars then i saw this little pattern that caught my eye and i was like "Ooh, she compliments this blazer so well 
Look at the pieces I put my hands on. Y'all, this purple was so gorgeous, as well as this satin button down. She was so cute. I definitely want to do a style hack with both of these shirts. Then I found this sweatshirt with this fur on the sleeves. Oh my gosh, y'all, I was gagging. She is the perfect amount of extra and the perfect amount of simple. The fact that she's black, wearing her with some thigh high boots, she's gonna eat the girls up. Then I found these Calvin Klein baby blue trousers for $12. Gotta have them. Then I found these sage green trousers with the pleats, how I like them. They definitely need to be cleaned and starched, but they were such a vibe. Then I ran across this Adidas two-piece set. You know you cannot go wrong with the Adidas two-piece set. Hell, any two-piece set. Okay, guys, so now it's time for our process of elimination. Here's what we have so far. I'm trying to teach Michael how to not worry about the size, but just get it and then we'll check out how it fits. And so, what do you think so far of your thrifting experience? Um, the past two stores I've been to, I've been too bad. I like it today, there's nothing really not to like about it. Look at me. Pretty clean, pretty good condition. Slightly big, but it's okay. It's Scrunch like, up your it's, sleeves. It's bulky. Scrunch up your sleeves. Scrunch them up? Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. That looks better on women. Scrunch it up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I love those shorts. With the nice yellow shirt. <laughs> really? Yeah. He did not want to try them on because he said they wasn't his size. Hey, no, but they look like they fit. I could dress you. I can dress these shorts. It's okay. This is the yellow shirt. So guys, he's trying to get into the thrift and he's trying to figure out if this shirt fits him. I honestly don't think he does. Put your hands down. I think it's a nice shirt. He's outstanding. Really? All right, well, to me, a brand new Ralph Lauren shirt for $12.99 is a good price. Yeah, he was talking so bad about these shorts. <laughs> these shorts got yellow in it, and I told him he should wear a yellow shirt. <laughs> Look at that. $12.99. $12.99. Didn't find you a full blown fit in the thrift store. And all you need is some loafers, some glasses. Don't be showing the people your body. <laughs> this is the next one. We found is this velvet blazer. That mug go crazy. It's a tuxedo though. See? Mm hmm. Turn towards me all the way. You want to match? I think that's fire though. Know? And what's the price price point on that one? Let's see. Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars for a velvet blazer though. I think that's pretty good. What y'all think? So yeah guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you guys for chilling with us and hanging out with me. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!